with a custom hand-built 6.3 liter AMG 32 valve naturally aspirated V8 engine. Imagine yourself in a 2014 Mercedes C63. This is a true beauty with 451 horsepower and 443 pounds of torque per foot. Developed entirely by AMG, it features such race proven technology as a rigid one piece aluminum bed plate, plasma spray cylinder bores, and self adjusting bucket type valve followers. With an exhaust note of symphonic proportions, 60 miles per hour arrive in just 4.4 seconds. And yet, its refinement makes the C63 AMG a supercar you can enjoy every day. Alright, so in this video, we'll be doing a full review of the all-new 2014 Mercedes C63 AMG. And we're going to start right off to see what's under the hood here. Under the hood, we have a hand-built 6.3 liter AMG with 32 valve naturally aspirated V8 engine. The engine has 451 horsepower with an amazing 443 pounds of torque per foot. It is a 7-speed AMG speed shift transmission with shift paddles for manual driving mode. Fuel economy wise, the C63 can get 13 miles per gallon in the city and 19 miles per gallon on the highway. And when combined, it gets 15 miles per gallon. And acceleration time from 0 to 60 in just 4.4 seconds. Now for a closer look at the front headlamps. Front headlamps could be controlled and put on automatic or manual mode and all can control on the inside. The lighting package on this specific model here are included with bi-xenon headlamps with active curve illumination and adaptive high beam assist which look very nice and clean as you can see right here. It also have built-in front parking sensors which automatically beeps if the car gets too close to hitting something. And in the middle you see the iconic Mercedes icon. Here's the closer view of the side view mirror. On the side view mirror, we have built in LED turn signals. Looks very nice and clean also. On both driver and passenger side, we got the 6.3 AMG logo. For the gas tank, all you have to do is make, make sure the car is unlocked and push down and lift it out and twist to the left to open. And to close, simply twist it to the right. As simple as that. And here's a closer view of the rear. On the left side, we got the C63 emblem. In the middle, we got the Mercedes badge. And on the right side, we got the AMG icon. And that's right here. You can see the rear view camera is located right there. Here it is. The dual tip exhaust looks very cool and nice. With the rear diffuser, blends in very well. And for the tires, on this specific model right here, we have an 18 inch AMG wheels with 5 spokes aluminum alloy wheels. Behind the wheels, we have an AMG high performance braking system. We also have the anti-lock braking system with brake assist system and electronic stability program control. And lastly, we also have the adaptive brake technology. Alright, let's go ahead and go in the interior and take a closer look at the interior. I forgot to mention that the C63 does have smart keyless access entry. So all you have to do is leave the keys in your pocket and stand next to the door and put your hand behind the handle and it will automatically unlock. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into the driver's seat here and see how comfortable it is. Alright, and we're in the driver's seat to turn on the engine. All you have to do is push your foot down on the brake and press the start button right over here. Very easy. Alright, let's see what we have on the steering wheel here. Steering wheel is all leather, feels very comfortable and nice. On the left side here, we got the different controls to control what's going to be on the odometer, such as the direction you're driving or the mileage. 
and to the right side we got the audio control volume up down telephone control and the voice command control and behind the steering wheel we have a shift paddle on the right side here this is to use with the standard driving option we also have another one on the right side on the left side excuse me and right here on the end knob here we can simply twist that to control the windshield wiper you also use this same one to control the right and left turn signal and down here we had a small knob to control the steering wheel placement you can move it up down away from you or towards you and here's the adaptive cruise control to accelerate simply push up and to decelerate pull down and on the knob on the end here you can control the uh, distance that's the car going to apply the brake automatically for you if it gets too close to the vehicle ahead of you and over here we got the different light switch and here's the parking brake and way at the bottom there we have the emergency brake alright let's go ahead and move over to the middle here here's the GPS navigation display and we have two AC vents in the middle down here we got the different audio control in the middle here is what you use to turn on and off the audio and control the volume and here's our different display you can display on the GPS navigation system whatever button you press it will show on the display and here that's the uh, hazard light emergency light that's the seat heat same goes for the passenger alright parking assist down here we got the dual AC heat climate control for both passenger and driver all you have to do is twist to the right to increase temperature and to the left to decrease the temperature here's the gear shift box all you have to do is push your foot down on the brake and push it down to reverse neutral or drive and right next beside we got a knob here to control the different driving modes you got the comfort mode sport sport plus and the manual mode for comfort you get more mileage but less power for sport you get more power but less mileage here's what you use to control all the GPS and navigation system right here we got two cup holders and let's go ahead and open the middle armrest compartment right here there's going to be a button on the side here simply press this button to open it alright and in here let's see what we have we have an auxiliary input along with the phone charger very nice and now for the glove box compartment glove box compartment is pretty decent size for a two door coupe alright and above her head we got the rear view mirror on the rearview mirror we got the universal garage door opener you can simply input your code there and use those buttons to control your garage up here we got the moonroof control with the roadside assistant SOS is for roadside assistant there and the moonroof here are the different light switches I'll go ahead and show you what the moonroof look like from the outside here it is already open let me go outside and show it to you what it look like here it is as you can see it elevates upwards looks very sporty and cool I'll go ahead and walk all the way around and show you a complete view looks very nice and we also have hooks on both the left and the right side here for you to carry extra cargoes on top of the car and now for a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door here we got the unlock and lock button and with all the adjustment for the driver's seat here and we have up to three memory for re easy readjustment of the driver's seat down here we have two power automatic window control on top we got the side view mirror control simply press that and use that to control it down here we got a side compartment and the trunk release button simply lift it up to open the trunk here's the AMG door seal you can see it on both the driver and passenger side alright and on the seat here we got the massage control for the chair 
which on the back you can bulge the back out and back in alright and I forgot to show you the uh, driver sun visor let me go ahead and jump in and show that to you here it is driver sun visor has a little mirror built in with a credit card holder right next to it pretty convenient and here's on the passenger seat looks a little bit different from the driver control also a little bit different also you can twist this knob right here and you can move the back forward backward and in order to slide the seat you must pull this up right here to slide the seat back and forth unlike the driver it's not powered on this side and to fold the seat simply pull that out and fold the seat uh, there it is a closer view of the back passenger seat let's go ahead and jump in there alright again I'm five foot seven this give you a better idea of how much leg space I have there feel very comfortable back here and that's the pa uh, driver side back here we also have two AC and heat vents also have a little compartment right here and in there we have another 12 volt AC outlet charger alright and right here we have two more cup holders and a spot for you to put more materials there above our head we got the lights control here's a quick view of the front of sitting in the back looks very clean and very nice alright and one more thing I'd like to show you here is the right and the left hanger you can use this to hang your clothes there's also another one on the left side here now for a closer look at the rear on the left side you see the C63 emblem in the middle you have the Mercedes badge and on the right side you got the AMG badge the dual exhaust tip look very nice back here we also have a rear view camera there it is rear view camera automatically display the rear view when you put the car into reverse the rear diffuser makes the car look very nice and blend in very well with the exhaust pipe here we also have built in parking sensors in the back to help the driver with parking alright let's go ahead and open the trunk to raise the trunk there's going to be a button down here make sure the car is unlocked and just press this button and raise the trunk trunk is pretty good and decent size let's see what we have in here to the left side here in here the jack supposed to be in there that's what you use to raise up your car but it's missing in here alright if you need more room for cargoes you can simply fold the seat you can fold both the left and the right seat for more space very nice alright guys that's all for today thanks everyone for watching and as always if you have any questions comments or requests for core reviews go ahead and leave me a comment below for more future core reviews Go ahead and subscribe to this channel and give our videos a thumbs up. And you can also check our Facebook page out in the description box below. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.